Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Here it is. Well, I guess you can't. Well, let's try and let's try. There it is. Woo! Roller Mills. Y'all know throughout the history of this channel how much I love Roller Mills. And I have to admit, it's very convenient because it's literally 10 minutes from where I live. So <laughs> let's get inside and see what we can find. Here we go. Christmas all over again. Yeah. I wonder if that's going to get flagged. Look at this clock. 1964 World's Fair. It is working at 525. It's a look, that's for sure. Check out these ornaments. I've never seen this particular... Oh yeah, I have. I really like these. These ones are at 45 for the box. This is a thumbprint. A little diamond print. I like these shapes. 45. Now there is 20 percent off though nine bucks off oh this is a is this a reproduction one as found mm -hmm. no there's no case to it hold on a second now it's the it's a vintage one but not the one that's worth like two three hundred dollars Uh, another box. I'm not really excited by that one, though. Uh, we'll see what else we can find in here. Uh, look at all the box chenille. 115 for all the chicks. But there is 20% off. That Santa who appears to be a cookie jar, is there a... Oh, it is, it's a, oh no, it's a light. 55. I thought for sure that was gonna be a cookie jar. Is it an empire? Is it a, a best? It is unmarked. I've never seen that one before. 55, I think for collector. For me, I'm gonna have to shy away from it. There's no sale, it doesn't appear in here either. Drats. Work, Santa, work. He's got the tumbling. I cannot read that. New York, made in Taiwan. Yeah. JS New York. I mean, 70s, 80s, 10 bucks for the set. I'll get those. A favorite vendor of mine who has a lot of small treasures. Definitely worth tiny treasures, of course. Definitely worth taking the time to check it out. Um, I don't really see anything for us today. And we move over here. Oh, there's some Viking and some Empoli. Okay, that was unexpected. Oh, I really like the shape. Let's put the Santas up here. Let go, sure. Okay. And I know that it's a single candle holder, but with a red loose light, I love the shape on that. I think that might be a hard sell though. 11 for the miniature compote back here. This is Viking at 20, that pink. Oh, this one's fun. This one's at 30. A miniature filler. Okay. Misbehaving. 19 for this and poly. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. Another Viking. It's 8.50. What am I doing? I'm going to get a basket. That's what I'm going to do. And then we'll see what I'm picking. Okay, so I'm getting all of this. I know, but I feel like with a candlestick, maybe a mercury, maybe a lucite, maybe a regular, and some little bit of some vintage, like an old candle ring, it would be perfectly Christmas. Um, you know, <laughs> these compounds are as desirable as they once were, but at that price point, there's still money on there, and I love selling Viking, so we're going to get that. Okay, so this is really cool here. We've got a charu, uh cigar 
milk glass canister. It's quite literally, it says Victoria, with Miss Victoria up here herself, the queen. Um, it's in really good condition. It is at $75, which is a really good deal. There is 10% off in here. I just... There's definitely room for profit on here, but it's one of those things that's so specific. Is anybody looking for Queen Victoria? I don't know. It's pretty special. Yeah. The teeth are back. Yeah. Now I see something special over here. This is definitely a something for me. Let's see how much they have it priced at. We have a Saturday Evening Post. Uh, appears November 4th, 1933. It is a Lion Decker, GC Lion Decker. That's at $30. Oh, it is just the cover, but these covers with his artwork on it. It's an older frame, which doesn't really matter. Uh, I am going to pick this up for me. This is an exceptional cover. Uh, even just the covers are very desirable and collectible. And I do have a wall, a gallery wall of his cover. So I'm very pleased to pick this one up. It's such an amazing deal. We are in full Christmas vibe here. Now, I gotta say, this year is the year of the Nutcracker for me. I love the ballet. I love the story. I love Tchaikovsky's um, ballet. I, I love everything Nutcracker. And I have for years. So I've concentrated on doing just Nutcracker's. I don't see any, but that doesn't mean we're not going to find some other Christmas, like a big golden book. It is good old, ooh, it's good old Rudolph here. Look at that. But, oh, $8.95. We're just checking the condition. Nineteen sixty four edition. Copyrighted nineteen fifty eight. So cool. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pass on that one. If it was first edition we would have snatched it up. And we do have some ceramic Christmas trees. Oh that reminds me, I need to get some colored lights, some replacement bulbs. Right now I just have white lights, which there's something to be said about, but I really feel like I need the multi. I do. Ooh, what is this little tiny? Oh, look at him. It looks like a Wade's whimsy, though. Kind of, doesn't it? I don't know what he's doing. Is he darning the sock? A little chip right there. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got. Some doodads back here. Not really... Um, yeah, we've got the hobbyists. I'm not feeling those. Lots of shiny brights, but more standard. Plain shapes, variety of colors, but you do need different colors, so. Oh, there's some nutcrackers. King. I don't like this one. They really have to speak to me. Neither of these is speaking to me. Let's pass up the corsages. These are one of my most favorite things. They're really easy to decorate with though too because you can attach these to a wide variety of items. Ooh, this one's $18.95. It's a little rich for my blood. $18 for the one. The pink $18. Mm. Because I would use them as craft supplies, I'm going to have to leave those, but fair, fair prices. Is, this one is beautiful condition, but uh, they would be craft supplies for me, so I'm going to leave those there. Check out this choir girl. $22.50. It almost looks Paul Howard. Don't believe that it is. Mm, there's some mold on there. Yeah, see, here's your classic Cole Howard head right there. Those ones are at 24. Not bad for a collector. I have two of these. I do not need another one, Michael. Calm yourself down. 
a whole bunch more of Christmas. Mm. But not the kind that I'm really looking for. May, may, may. I see some mercury glass garland up here, but they're well six and a six and a half isn't bad. Eight feet at seventeen fifty. Again, really not that bad. <laughs> oh gosh. That's a great graphic on that one. They're together. They're together. There's the sale. It's 20% off. And the last time we were here, they had these beaded purses. And I really liked the blue one here. Um, with the Art Nouveau on there. The beading looks to be in excellent condition from what I remember. I'm gonna get that one at $32. Yes, I am. I'm excited it's still here. And we're getting it on sale. Patience definitely paid off in this case. This vendor looks new to me, or they've just completely changed up their aesthetic. The thing that, of course, caught my eye up here was some of the swung vases in the amber. Um, I'm really liking this one from Viking at 40. I'm going to have to put it back. If it was a different color, I might have definitely been more inclined to get it. This is an interesting blend of vintage and antiques. I'm not mad at it. They really stuck with, I think, a very cohesive color pattern. Um, and it blends everything really well together and of course down here let's see if i can get down here without killing myself what look at that ellie smith that's lovely but the thing that i'm seeing the most is actually this murano um vase right here that one is at 110 which is an exceptional value especially for the size of it whoa and that blue i've had a smaller one i think i'm gonna pick that I know that seems crazy, but that will be an exceptional value. All right, well, I didn't really find anything else downstairs. It's okay, because I think that what we found is really good. So we're going to try to head it up stairs here just to be safe. <sighs> I always love this display. I think it is beautiful. Obviously a flair for the fashion. Now what we're on the hunt for so we're going to go up a few more stairs here. Creeper is still here. Creeper. Look at that. You can rent these shelf spaces. It's $10 a month. Um, and this is interesting. Missing stem. Womp. Don't see anything there for us. There's that old phone. Love this phone. Does that one 22? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> what were y'all doing to that poor cord? I think that would be good if the cord was better, but they have had to duct tape, not duct tape, electrical tape that. Ooh, some fashions. Mm, no. Mm. <laughs> These are like hobby kits. Definitely not the vibe we are going for. But over here. here let's see if we can find something anybody ever seen this movie oh art deco realness a silent black and white film from the 30s i do believe if you've not had the pleasure make sure to check it out it's obviously a little middle uh, molding kit there 20 percent off i'm quite frankly tempted there's a gold one down here which i kind of prefer a little bit Ooh, 90. I don't think I want to spend that many dollars, though. 
but I love that movie. Do yourself a favor, check it out. Beautiful music. Oh, I love that movie. There's some blue opalescence up here. It's kind of spotty. You see all the air bubbles in it. Oh, wow. You know what? I thought that was going to be etched. Do you see? I mean, it's just a mark of the time. The straw marks in it. it she's definitely showing her age. At $30, I am going to pick that one up. Love the blue opalescence. Can't help that. like they're all the same the supermarket play food where is this made in Hong Kong why do I want to get some of these should we get some of those <laughs> I'm gonna get three I mean they're all branded Ivory Snow Campbell's the green bean the V8 let's get three we'll get three of them I just the memories there's more more. Unfortunately, they're all the same. It would have been cool to get some ones that were a little different. Oh, look at this. Fisher Price. Bobblehead Clown. Oh, he's only three fifty. Hmm. Sad but true, but he's not very collectible, so there he's going to stay. You now we have some angels I'm seeing right over there. It looks like they're in a variety of poses. One appears to be whoa, a shelf sitter. This one. Thirty-five. Oh, no, it's not a shelf sitter. Huh. But you get all three. Looks like he's missing a flag. Or flowers. He also looks like he's missing a flag. Or flowers. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. Um, 35... Don't think it's horrible. Ooh, look at this. Oh, look at this one. Whoa. That's a big one. Look at the colors on that. And of course, it's not priced. Why would it not be priced? Is it? No, it's not priced. Uh, it's alright. I don't need any more, anyhow. Um, ew, somebody painted that spaghetti. I don't like it. Um, ew. Okay. Guys, we're gonna head down these crazy narrow stairs. Well, not narrow, but steep, and check out. Alrighty, guys, well, there you have today's Shop With Me video. I think we found some great things at some great prices. I'm very happy with all of the Viking glass, especially at such good deals. Of course, I'm very pleased with the coin purses because you know what? At 20% off, $32 each, um, I got both. Yes, I did. So anyhow, you guys, let me know down in the comments what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works, and you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.